Hey everybody, thanks for watching. And today we're using um, an iPad and we're going to be talking about how to upload a report to Dropbox so that it can be used for teacher grading. A lot of our teachers in our district use iPads from a checkout cart and they run into the issue of if a student is making a report on an iPad, how do we print it if we don't have printers or how do we get it in the hands of the teacher for grading? So the quickest, easiest solution seems to be to create a Dropbox account that can be used by the teacher or one that can be used by the school site and it has folders inside it for each teacher. Uh, what we've done here is we've created a basic um, Dropbox account for our high school and I'm going to be showing you how to upload a finished report from Pages into Dropbox. So here we have our report. It's a little visual report that we did on our favorite vacation and I'm going to show you how to upload that now. The report's already finished so all we have to do is go back to our documents and then what we're going to do first of all right now it's called visual report so what we need to do is we need to rename that so that the student report stands out to the teacher. In other words, we need to know Jane Smith's paper from John Smith's paper. So I'm going to touch on the title and it's going to let me rename it. So I'm going to put John Smith third period. And that way when it's uploaded to Dropbox, the teacher knows which period and which student. And we'll hit done. Of course, now you can see the file has been renamed. So now that this document has been named, it's ready to be uploaded. And to do that, I'm just going to hit the edit button. And when I do that, everything starts to wiggle. And I'll click on the document I want to upload. And I'll hit the export button, which is the square with the out arrow on it. And I'll choose open in another app. Now, you can upload it in either pages PDF or Word format. I don't recommend that you use Pages format unless you have a Mac and you already have Pages installed on the Mac. So probably the best way to do this would be to upload it as a PDF so that other students can't open someone else's assignment and modify it or in Word. I'm going to choose PDF and now the, uh, the document is ready so I just choose my app and I'll scroll to Dropbox. Now I've already logged into my Dropbox account so it automatically goes to the account and I just need to choose the destination folder. Now I haven't actually set up folders yet, but if I had, I could just simply click on destination and then choose the folder I want to use and then hit choose. And then when I'm ready to upload, I hit save and it's uploading the document as you can see here. And it'll take just a second. And once it's uploaded, it'll automatically be available to the teacher if they use Dropbox on their teacher computer, or they can go to it on Dropbox at home if they want to. So now the document is finished uploading, and it's available for viewing. And that's just a quick and simple way to get documents from pages onto Dropbox. You can also do this with Keynote, or if you have numbers, you can do the same thing. One thing I will say, though, is if you're using iPads as a checkout lab, when you are finished, if you're using a Dropbox account that's particular to the teacher, you may want to have your students unlink your account from the iPads. And you can do that by going to the settings and then clicking unlink iPad from Dropbox. And then choose unlink iPad and it takes it back to a login screen. Well, hopefully that clears up some information for you. If you have questions at any time, just feel free to give me a call.